Hello Sagittarius viewers. I am getting caught up with my readings. I'm sorry this might be a little bit shorter than my usual videos, but I will be posting my regular length videos on the 15th, so stay tuned for that. Sorry this one's shorter. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with you guys. As always, I'm here to do readings for you if you want. Just send me an email. I do $50 private readings, and it's a 30-plus minute video. The videos usually end up going on for about, you know, usually about 45 minutes or an hour. So just send me an email if you want one of those. My email is dragonenchantress at AWOL.com. The email is right below in the description box below this video. Please like, share, subscribe if it resonates. Any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And please bear with my camera. It just takes a minute to adjust as I put the cards out. Betrayal, Jealousy, Conflict, Submissive, Weak-Willed, Clubs, Parties, Social Life, Listening, New Perspective, Understanding, True Love and Abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. Cold, guarded, and distrusting. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Courage, motivation, forward movement, sadness. Lots of mixed energy here. Anger, miscommunication. Shyness, fear of rejection. Okay, I feel like you have a new start here, but you're not seeing it. So either you have a new start, but you're not seeing it, or your person has a new start with you, but they're not realizing it. I'm feeling like there's some kind of miscommunication here. Because there's just so much mixed energy here. This is a very odd reading. I had to pause and like look at the cards for quite a quite a few minutes because I'm like, this is this is strange. <laughs> I feel like either someone that's like, this could be a third party situation. Um, for others, I just feel like this is like an ex or someone from the past that was maybe jealous and be caused conflict. This could be a karmic relationship that you were in. I feel like you were submissive for that to that for quite a while. I feel like right now, um, and this could, like I said, this could be you or this could be your person that's dealing with this. I feel like someone was submissive to this karmic relationship and... It's like someone needed to kind of um, go through a dark night of the soul almost. There might have been like drinking, drugs, partying, just going out. I could also see this as just kind of putting on a facade. I feel like someone lost the, their selves, whether this is you, you lost yourself, or whether this is your person that lost themselves. Someone lost themselves in a karmic connection that was full of betrayal and jealousy and conflict. Someone was submissive to this karmic connection. Someone, the, the karmic was more dominant in this connection. You see how this, it looks like a feminine energy that's pulling this masculine back. Someone was submissive to this energy and it's almost like I feel like this person's almost angry at themselves for being submissive to that energy. And I feel like this person needed to go through a phase where they kind of lost themselves a little bit where it's like they just, you know, maybe they were tied down for so long that they just enjoyed their freedom for a while. Like they were just so happy to be out and be able to go out and do things, go out and be with their friends, you know, that kind of thing. I feel like a new perspective. It's such a strange energy because it feels like it feels like this person has a new perspective and it's supposed to be a positive thing, but for some reason this person is cold and guarded and distrusting. It's almost like this karmic cycle was supposed to wrap up. And I feel like it has for most, or it's about to. Like it's in the process of wrapping up if it hasn't wrapped up already. <clears throat> but I feel like this was supposed to lead this person to a higher perspective, to listening, to understanding, to, you know, allowing true love to flow in naturally. Like this person was supposed to take these karmic lessons and learn from them. And it's like they kind of learned from them. I'm not saying they didn't learn at all, but it just feels like whoever just went through this is kind of cold and guarded and distrusting now. It's like... It's like they got one foot in the past and one foot in the future. They're, they're not really grounded in the present moment, though. 
it's like the cycle is wrapped up and you're supposed to have this higher perspective, but instead someone's someone's just afraid of trusting due to all what, what they just went through. Someone's very cold and guarded here. The thing is though, so again, this is either you or, you or your person, but I feel like like you guys have like a chance to go home, to be happy, to be in your safe space, to be with the person you belong with, you know, but it's, it's like someone here doesn't see it. They're so cold and guarded and distrusting that they're not seeing that they have an opportunity to go home and be with their true love. This is like, this is kind of the energy of two people, two people that are on the same page, but they're, there's miscommunication or there's a lack of communication because someone's damaged and somebody's afraid. And it feels like someone's isolating themselves, like they feel alone and they feel empty. But it really feels like Eight of Swords, it really feels like Eight of Swords energy. It feels like this person's kind of doing it to themselves. Like they have a chance to go home and be with their true love. It's like right in front of their face. But this person's isolating themselves. They feel alone, but they're not actually alone. And it seems like someone here tries to move towards their true love. They try to work up that courage and to be assertive, to move forward. And then something comes up and just makes them sad. Something comes up and like upsets them. It's like they get in their head or something and they upset themselves almost. Maybe they feel like they don't have another chance with you. Maybe they think about how things went with this other person and they're not, they haven't healed from that damage. It's like you both, it's so strange. It's almost like you both love each other, but for some reason someone keeps getting sad and getting in their head. You get a swords energy here. And they're, they're not seeing things as they really are. They're getting lost in their head and they're not seeing it for what it really is. It just seems like a lot of like self-sabotage kind of energy here where they start moving forward and then they upset themselves. They think that you wouldn't take them back or they think that the chance is over. It's like miscommunication. Maybe some of you said something to them and they felt like you rejected them, but you actually didn't reject them. Like maybe that's just how you express emotions. Like maybe, you know, like, and like I said, take it as it resonates because there's different, it's the same energy group, but there's different stories. Like I said, for some, this is your person feeling like this. For others, this is you feeling like this and your spirit guides are saying, hey, like there is a chance here. You're getting in your head and you're creating issues that aren't even there. You know, when there is, there is something, there might be something solid here, you know, and for others, it's like this, this is your person that's kind of getting in their head and they're making themselves sad. It's like they go to move forward and they start thinking about a future with you, but then they upset themselves. And it's like, they're upsetting. There might've been like an argument you guys had, or there might be like some kind of miscommunication here. Like they, you know, we got the shyness and fear of rejection card. So it's almost like they're like afraid that they're going to get rejected, but it, it's, it's strange. It's, it's almost like you guys are mirroring each other's fears. Like you're afraid of getting rejected and they're afraid of getting rejected. You know, sometimes you'll randomly feel their pain and vice versa. And it's just sad because it feels like there really is a chance here, but someone is just, you know, causing their own sadness due to miscommunication. Someone's making assumptions here is what it feels like. Someone is just assuming the worst. Someone's just assuming that you've moved on or maybe like for those of you that are in contact and, and talking, they're assuming that, you know, oh, maybe, maybe they're flirting with me, but, you know, I, I doubt they really mean it. Like, oh yeah, they said they love me or they said they want something, but like, you know, they probably wouldn't in a month from now or two months from now. Like, maybe they're, maybe they're just full of it. Like, um... It's almost like, it's, it's like the opportunity is right in front of their face and they just don't see it. It's like, there's an opportunity to go home, to be with the person you belong with, to be in your safe space. I feel like you guys feel very safe and very open and vulnerable with each other um, when you allow yourselves to be. But sometimes it's like, you know, someone here kind of blocks that or you guys don't fully allow yourselves to be vulnerable with each other all the time. It just seems like some kind of, I don't know if it's anger necessarily, but like, it feels like there's some miscommunication here for sure. It's like someone is causing their own pain. You know? It's 
It's like someone is jumping 10 steps ahead and thinking that you're going to reject them when that when it's not your intention to reject them or vice versa. It's like someone's like shy and insecure and kind of afraid here. Hmm. Like, it's, it seems like this person just, like, assumes the worst. Like, they just, it seems like I'm, like, a very pessimistic person and just kind of assumes. It's like they're hurting themselves. You have I don't feel like you've even hurt them. I feel like maybe there was, like, miscommunication, but it's like, I don't think that you really intended to hurt them. You might have just, you might have given them an ultimatum or you might have said something and they, you know, their insecurity got in the way and it's almost like they're hurting themselves. It's so weird. What else do you want to tell me about this connection? Love offer, commitment, reconciliation. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile. They want to give you this love offer, but their mental instability keeps blocking them from doing so. They might have, I mean, I can't diagnose mental illness, but they might have mental illness. You have taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Ending a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Yeah, I almost feel like... Hmm, let me see here. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation, fear of commitment. Confusion, uncertainty. Publicity, social media. And loyalty, stability, vows. I think there's a couple different stories here. For some, I feel like they were taking too long, and so you're ending the cycle, and you're starting new with someone else, and this person wants to come back around, but you're going to be confused, like you're not going to fully trust them. But they've been, like, spying on your social media. For others, I kind of feel like they're wanting to end the cycle of, you know, I feel like their mental in instability keeps getting in the way and then they try to just take it slow, like almost too slow, though. It's like they try to wait for something to happen. It's like their fears get the best of them and they make themselves sad. But I feel like some of them are wanting to just come out of that and just take you like on like a honeymoon or on, you know, like some kind of vacation. Like maybe they want to travel to you or like travel somewhere with you. Like maybe you guys are at a distance. I feel like there's still that fear, though. They still have that fear of commitment. Commitment. They still have this confusion, uncertainty. Some of you are posting certain things on social media, and they're like, they're, it, that's, con that's causing the confusion and uncertainty. What is this loyalty card about? Yeah, it's almost like, it's like they keep hesitating and pausing and reflecting it's like there's okay so the energy i'm getting here is almost like they're sad like they keep sabotaging the connection but they tell themselves that they're just waiting for the right timing it's almost like it reminds me of that scene from garden state the end where um i don't know why i'm seeing that scene right now but have you guys seen that movie like at the end um zach braff is supposed to you know go home and he tells natalie portman you know well you know, in the future, we'll be together, we'll figure it out, we'll plan. And then he ends up not getting on the plane and he finds her and she's crying in the in the telephone booth or whatever. I'm probably not describing this well. But he finds her and she's crying because she thinks that he's on the plane and he's leaving. And, you know, he says, you know what, I'm just going to stay. Like, you know, I love you. That's all I know. Like, like, I don't know where we go from here, but, you know, I don't want to waste any more of my life without you in it. And it's kind of like that person needs to to take that leap of faith. It's almost like this person keeps procrastinating and they keep telling themselves that it's the wrong timing or they need to wait or they need, you know, they're, they're just making these excuses and the excuses are based on their mental illness or mental instability is what I'm getting. It's, it's almost like they have these fears based on, you know, their mental instabilities. They, they have these fears and insecurities and instead of acknowledging the fears and insecurities and working on them, they're telling themselves, oh, it's just not the right timing, or, you know, maybe there was someone else now, or, 
you know, oh, I need to work on this first, or I need to do that. I need to be perfect first before I can make this offer. It's like they're sabotaging it, but they don't even realize they're sabotaging it. They think that they're making healthy decisions. I hope that makes sense. It's like they think that they're making these healthy decisions when really they're just sabotaging things. It's like they're just making excuses, but they're not seeing them as excuses. They're seeing, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're, it's, it's like their, their mind is kind of playing tricks on them right now. You know, it's like they're procrastinating, but they're trying to find these valid reasons to procrastinate so they, they don't have to realize that they're procrastinating. And that probably sounds complicated. But I mean, it's not that complicated. It's just basically someone saying, you know, oh, it's, it's the wrong timing. And, you know, genuinely, this person probably feels like it is just not the right timing. But the reality is they're saying that because of their fears and insecurities. It's not that it's actually not the right timing. It's just that they're afraid of taking the leap of faith. And I really feel like there's this in, um, this insecurity based on miscommunication. I mean, honestly, it's difficult with someone that's mentally unstable sometimes because it's like if they're afraid and they're insecure, they're, you know, what are you going to do? They're going to be afraid. They're going to be insecure. There's only so much you can do. But for some of you, I, I am getting that there's some kind of miscommunication that took place that is making them feel like you would reject them if they reached out. So if you know what that is, you know, that might need to be cleared up. Use your own intuition because I am not responsible for what you do or don't do as a result of my readings. You know, I take no responsibility. I take no responsibility whatsoever here. But for some, I am getting that there's something in their head that they're replaying, like an argument or a miscommunication or, you know, maybe you've been waiting for them to make a move and, they, and you know, they're waiting for you to make a move. So it's almost like, you know, you guys aren't telling each other how you truly feel. Um, it just feels like someone here needs... It, it, there needs to be some kind of movement here. It's like you guys are just going in circles. So it's kind of like you, you guys need to figure this out. You know what I mean? Like you need to figure out if you can clear this miscommunication up and get on board and start a life together or if you need to move on from this. It's like something has got to give here finally because you're both keeping each other stagnant at the moment. You know what I mean? Like you're both. It's like there's love here, but. You know, someone is afraid of acting due to this due to this miscommunication. Someone's someone's expecting the worst. Someone's expecting to get rejected, but I am not feeling like they will get rejected. Someone for some of you, this could be like someone you're talking to. And it's like, you know, you're afraid of coming on too strong. And they're also afraid of coming on too strong. It's like you guys are mirroring each other's energy. It's like you want to take it to the next next stage. Like you want a relationship or you want to move in together. And they also want that. But you guys aren't telling each other that. And so there's this miscommunication. So both of you are kind of afraid and both of you are holding back. And it's like someone's got to give here. And, you know, don't do it for them. Do it for yourself. You know, some of you just need answers. Some of you just need to know either way where this is going you know what I mean like for some it's not even it, you know it's not even about them it's just about you like some of you just need to know what's happening um but yeah don't let the doubts you know whoever this is it's like don't let the doubts and fears and insecurities get in your head you know um it's like I'm getting it's like you someone felt rejected but they weren't actually rejected it wasn't rejection. It was an argument or it was miscommunication. It was maybe some like the someone's tone of voice. Someone misunderstood something. So yeah, I'm really feeling like that just needs to be cleared up here. Um anyway, as always, if you want a private reading, just just email me. My email is below in the description box below this video. It is dragon enchantress at AOL.com. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. Thanks for watching.